And in business news, not so cherry news coming from the aviation industry as Nigeria has lost the United States Category 1 status at the country's airline failed to operate directly to the country for two years. The new United States Federal Aviation Administration law states that failure of any country's airlines to operate directly to the United States for two years of Azizar would lead to the loss of Category 1 status. With this removal, Nigerian airlines, including those planning to commence direct flights from Lagos, cannot operate directly to any city or airport in the U.S. until the country is re-audited and recertificated by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration and returned to its former status. I Meanwhile, the federal government, through the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, has reacted swiftly to clarify that the delisting was not due to safety concerns. The acting director general of the Civil Aviation NCCA, Captain Chris Najomo, in a statement emphasized that comprehensive audits by the International Civil Aviation Organization revealed no major safety issues. He said that the delisting is in effect uh, of uh, Nigeria Airlines can still operate in the U.S. using wet-leased aircraft from countries that retain Category 1 status. 